hey guys welcome and welcome back to another video y'all i'm low-key like sad about this one if the lighting is off i'm sure it will change throughout the video but it's during the day i have my windows open because my plant babies need to photosynthesize they need their sunlight for food and that is more important than the lighting on my video sorry it is time to take down these faux locks y'all and honestly I don't really know how I feel about it. I mean, I do know how I feel about it. I'm sad because it's only been like three weeks and I really wanted to, I really wanted them to last at least four, but the way my scalp is set up, um, like I'm used to washing my hair twice a week. And so the fact that I haven't washed my hair in three weeks is like, no fred is probably all the way dried out at this point um my scalp is flaky and probably inflamed and irritated so i just want to take these down give my hair a give my hair a really good like deep clean and moisturization because you know, I feel like these three weeks have probably taken a toll on my hair. So I'm struggling right now. So what I'm going to do is at least remove the wrap hair before I come back on here. And then um, we'll get started on this whole entire like wash day post protective style. Okay. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so real quick, I am just going to insert some clips well, a clip of how I took the faux locks out. It wasn't really like that difficult. Um, you know, just I tried my best to kind of cut towards the root and not the ends because I really had no idea where my hair ended. And um, I knew if I just kind of cut the hair that I wrapped my hair with at the root, it would sort of unravel. So it really wasn't that difficult of a process to take down. I think the most difficult part now is going to be taking out these small braids. And I'm just concerned, like, look at this. Do you think my hair started like to lock at the root? I don't know, it just, it looks like I've got quite a bit of new growth though, especially back here. But you know, that's very deceiving. Oh, that feels so good. So, um, that's what we're looking like. Wow. It does look like my hair grew in that three weeks, though. So, basically, I feel like I'm going to take another two hours to uh, take this down. I probably should have ate something before I got started on this part. My hair actually feels okay, though. Like, I can still feel product on my hands so the wrap hair really didn't suck the moisture out of my hair like i assumed that it would y'all these braids are so tiny oh my god and this lighting is so bright i so apologize mm, i wish my grandma was still alive to help me take these down but anyways i'm gonna um i feel like if i just relax and i'm not on here trying to talk to y'all while i take these down it might go a little quicker so the next time you see me i will be applying products and starting my wash day so i'll be right back here we are literally another two hours later two and a half hours honestly that's how long it took me to take out those uh little braids but now it is time to get to the fun part. We got to get rid of this. Ugh. So nasty. So rude. I have my water and aloe vera juice. If you saw the video where I did my faux locks, then you know that's that was the base of my braid out. And I feel like, you know, it's probably good. And I didn't want to like pre-shampoo my hair 
my new thing when I pre-poo is I like to shampoo my hair but since I'm coming out of a protective style and I know I have lots of like shed hair built up in my hair I'm just gonna use this to saturate my hair and for today's pre-poo I am going in with the chocolate kinks and curls green clay mint coat um, co-wash clay wash I figured this would be best for my hair and scalp coming straight out of the faux locks I am going to just really really pay attention to my scalp and like I said I didn't I don't really need to like super detangle because the braids were so small that like my hair isn't tangled at all and I did them on blown out hair slightly blown out hair so I just really am focusing on my scalp right now and definitely getting rid of all that gunk that <laughs> that scalp that builds up at the root um, I'm going to definitely like shampoo my hair but I really just want to make sure see look see we're getting and we know it's not breakage because it's like full length hair like this is genuinely shedding it's it's nothing excessive it's to be expected my scalp is completely okay my hair is still healthy it's just a natural shed situation so yeah I'm just going to go in with this clay and really make sure I am getting to the root of everything oh it just feels so good this is like the longest wash day of my life but yeah I just want to make sure my hair is coated I'm not really too particularly concerned about the ends of my hair just yet um I don't really want to dry them out I'm definitely spraying the aloe vera and the water on my ends but um I'm gonna I'm gonna actually steam my hair today because I haven't done that in a very long time. But y'all, my hair is just so thick at the roots. I feel like my hair really did grow while it was tucked away for three weeks. Like, I'm kinda in shock right now. Not that my faux locks were heavy or anything. Um, I don't think that they were, but from me taking them down my scalp just feels kind of tender i don't know so i'm trying to be gentle i guess i'll show y'all exactly how much hair i lost in three weeks but even if it's a lot i'm not going to be alarmed like you lose over a hundred hairs a day so it is what it is. I'm not going bald by any means. Um, I'm still not the fondest of tools right now. So I'm not going to like brush through my hair. Because I don't know. I just feel like that's going to snatch out even more. So... Uh, that's just a personal preference but definitely take this time to fully detangle to your liking but this is all i've got but yes i'm so happy to be like doing my hair right now like you know a lot of people complain about being natural and wash day but um i even made a joke about it like if you saw my instagram i definitely posted a reel about how like this wash day is like the longest day possible but honestly i'm at a point in my natural hair journey well i've kind of always been like this but i enjoy washing my hair like it's not the hassle that it used to be for me um you know like there's there's so much information about he out here about what you should be doing or how to take care of your natural hair but at the end of the day you have to do what works for you oh i got clay in my eye you have to do what works for your lifestyle and what works for your hair and that takes a lot of trial and error and it evolves like make it your own 
I feel like I have this conversation often or I say this all the time, but I don't know. I just feel like we get so caught up in, oh my gosh, I have to do this and I have to do this and I and I have to make sure I do this to my hair and wash your hair in sections and make sure you, you don't do this to your hair. Like there are just so many rules and it don't have to be that complicated. It's not that serious. I mean, it, it is like if you care about your hair, but like y'all. This hair on your head is already dead, first and foremost. It's not a living thing. But all you can do is your best to maintain it as it continues to grow out of your scalp. That's it. Like, you can't let taking care of your hair, something that's already dead, <laughs> take over your life. It's like... The more I do to my hair, like, my scalp is, like, anxious. Does that make sense? Like, it's like, my my scalp was itchy, but now that I'm, like, adding water to it and these clay washes, it's like, the parts that I haven't gotten to yet are like, oh, when's it my turn? When is it my turn? Because my head is really starting to itch. But look at my hair. My ends are still looking intact right now super excited about all of this so i don't know where i stopped or what i was saying because my memory card got full but um i think i was saying while i had the protective style in my hair um i just wasn't really interested in doing any type of hair content like i i just kind of used that as my excuse to like try things out and not really stick to a schedule and um thank you thank you to everyone who still supported my channel and watched all of those videos and commented like y'all are the best but listen my cousin jasmine this is the last thing that like really inspired me honestly jasmine if you've been here for a while you know you remember my cousin her her channel will be linked down below and in the cards but um like sis just went on a whole like vacation and um still managed to have her videos like ready like she busted her butt to make sure she had content planned out and ready so like she didn't miss a beat while she was on vacation and i'm sure it was stressful um before her trip but like i have all intentions of being that person all the time the virgo in me but like i just didn't feel like it while i had this protective style in but anyways i said all that to say that i'm back and i'm ready to do hair content i actually have like quite a few videos in mind that I, I have a list of. So um, I guess some upcoming stuff is I just ordered some some products from Trey Lux that I'll be trying. Um, I also want to do a dedicated video to the products that I used in that vlog. So I'm going to do like a Target um, watch day very, very soon. And then I was kind of considering doing Vlogtober because, um, why not? Um, I was very unsuccessful with Vlogmas last year. I just had a lot going on, but, um, I'm very aware that I keep like telling y'all I'm gonna do these things and then it lasts for like a week and I don't do it anymore. But y'all gonna see like for real, for real. September three videos a week. I actually am changing the time that I'm going to upload my videos. I'm gonna try and upload like during the mornings, like 11 a.m. Just because like lately I've been doing, I've been like doing my videos at 8, 8.30, which is cool. Like I don't mind that, but I kinda want to put my content out earlier in the day. And then also, I know if I give y'all a dedicated time, like you'll know when to expect my videos because I've been doing a, I've been doing premieres, and I actually like that a lot because I actually get to talk to y'all like 
it's different from like responding to comments versus like having actual conversations when my videos go live so honestly the last like four videos i'm probably premiering this one actually um have been premieres and that has just been i don't know i just like it so i'm definitely going to stick with that but i know in order for my premieres to be successful i gotta tell you what time i'm uploading in advance so y'all can be there so that was me telling you in advance monday wednesday and saturday my videos will be going up at 11 a.m that time doesn't really work for you let me know and maybe like different days i'll do different times you know but yeah i think that'll be cool and if you let me know like any type of content or product reviews or anything that you would like to see i will add it to my list and um definitely get on that for vlogtober i'm actually gonna bring back um do i still love it too but i probably won't do like whole wash days with like a particular product line i'll probably just do like randomly grab products and let you know if i still love them <laughs> during my wash day so it won't be like brand specific just product specific all right well i am going to finish applying this clay wash throughout my hair i'm going to let it sit for probably 20 to 30 minutes um at least because your girl is starving like i haven't eaten since i started this whole process so um i'm probably just gonna let this sit and marinate while i run out and grab something to eat it's so crazy because i don't know what is clay wash and what is like dirt <laughs> at this point like i keep looking at my hair and scalp and i'm like i don't know if this is like dirt or is it the actual clay wash I don't know i guess we'll see but i mean i'm gonna shampoo my hair anyways but i'll see you guys back in a jiffy okay so my hair is so fresh and so clean um i went in with the melanin what is it called african black soap cleansing shampoo so i just want to be super sure that my hair is super clean and soothed so we're gonna be double masking tonight um, while i sit under my steamer i'm gonna go in with the briogeo scalp revival i have a whole video on this it'll be linked down below and of course because i feel like my hair needs an uber amount of moisture because it's been underneath those that dry connect line hair um we're gonna go in with the be gentle be kind super hydrating mask avocado y'all every time i open this and smell it oh i didn't even have the top off and you can smell it oh this thing is just amazing to me so yeah i didn't lose much hair at all while i was shampooing and this is all that i've lost so far um that's like nothing shout out to fred for not shedding his entire mane but yeah okay y'all it's literally like nine o'clock this has been an entire wash day like we've worked a whole eight hour shift and had a lunch break and i am still doing my hair but y'all that briogeo scalp revival it was tingling before i even sat under my steamer right and then it kind of subsided a little bit as i sat underneath it 
But then once my steamer stopped and I got out from under it, it like reactivated and continued to tingle. Like my scalp feels so incredible right now. My hair feels good. Um, my ends feel great. My hair feels super soft. I cannot wait to wash this out. I'm just going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Fred is back and ready to have some fun. We've got some great things coming up. My birthday is in a few weeks. I can't believe it. I'm about to be 35, y'all. Don't forget to just say hello in the comments. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.